Please sit comfortably and close your eyes. Allowing your body to settle in to wherever you're sitting. Having the intention of being fully present. Let's begin with a few deep breaths, breathing into your belly, feeling your stomach expand. Inhale for four seconds. Hold. And exhale for four seconds. Let's do that again, being sure to feel your stomach expand. And as you inhale, try not to raise your shoulders or your chest. That'll just cause more stress. Rather, breathe into your belly. Inhale for four seconds. Hold. And exhale for four seconds. And once more, inhale for four seconds. Hold. Exhale for four seconds. And now just breathe effortlessly without forcing your breath. Simply observing your breath as it naturally flows in and naturally flows out. Today I'll share from a book called 99 Blessings, An Invitation to Life by David Stindlerost. Stindlerost writes, blessings rightly understood are the invisible bloodstream pulsating through the universe, alive and life-giving. Remember, there's nothing that is supposed to happen when hearing poetry or teachings. Simply allow the words to flow gently through you in any way they like. Source of all blessings, you bless us with breath. In and out, in and out, ever renewing us, ever anew, making us one with all who breathe the same air. May this blessing overflow into a shared gratefulness so that with one breath, I may praise and celebrate life. Source of all blessings, you bless us with humility. That down to earth quality that makes us stand tall and acknowledge both the land that feeds us and the stars to which we aspire. May I learn to practice and to honor in others this sparkling humility 
which is the dignity that we as human beings cannot afford to lose. Source of all blessings. You bless us with imprecision, with all that is vague, close but not quite, all that leaves room for the more specific, the more precise, and room for the imagination. May I know when to be exact and when to move freely and blessed in this space, so generously provided by all that is not perfectly defined, giving full scope to my dreams and my creativity. Source of all blessings. You bless us with memory, that sacred ingathering of the past that allows us to recognize faces, learn poems by heart, find our way back when we are lost, and bring forth old and new from its nearly inexhaustible supply. May I know what to forget and what to retain and treasure, keeping in mind the smallest kindness shown to me and spreading its ripples for a long time to come. Source of all blessings, you bless us with change. In the seasons of the year, from snow to greening, flowering, fruiting, and harvest. In the seasons of life, from childhood to youth, full ripeness and aging. All living things keep changing. May I welcome change as a sacred opportunity to grow and savor in each moment what is beyond change. Source of all blessings. You bless us with departures, for they are a necessary part of our journey, necessary for the arriving. May I always be ready to take leave, always aware that every arrival is a prelude to departure, every birth a step towards dying. And may I thus taste the blessings of being fully present where I am. And now let's introduce four intentions for a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and a wonderful life. Remember, an intention is like a pebble dropped in a still pond. Simply release the pebble 
and observe the ripples that flow from it. As I pronounce each intention, silently repeat the intention if you like once or twice, observing the words gently. And if a soft smile comes to you naturally, don't resist. Bringing your awareness to your physical self. Joyful, energetic body. Joyful, energetic body. Bringing your awareness to your emotional self. Loving, compassionate heart. Loving, compassionate heart. Bringing your awareness to your intellectual self. Reflective, alert mind. Reflective, alert mind. Bringing your awareness to your spiritual self. Lightness of being, lightness of being. Blessings are miraculous and mysterious. The more we count them, the more we have to count. And we always have the ability in each moment to cultivate a deeper awareness of the blessings and the blessing of simply being alive. So as you go about your day and your weekend, remember the teaching of David Stendelrost, who said, bless what there is for being, whatever it be, bless it because it exists. You need no other reason. And now, if you like, you can unmute your line and bring your palms together in front of your heart center. And let's chant together the Sanskrit word for being Om. When you're ready, gently and gracefully open your eyes as we greet each other with Namaste. Om. Om. Namaste. Namaste.